The three Republican lawmakers behind the effort all live hours away from the Portland area, but they've been watching the strike closely. They say PPS is the gold standard for how not to run a school district and that it's time they be held accountable. We need to honor our children and their time for their education. State Representative Christine Goodwin lives in Southern Oregon, and yet she's invested in the Portland teacher strike. So I think other school districts are looking at this, and um, I think it's a dangerous precedent to set. Goodwin believes the price that PPS kids are paying now could have statewide implications in the future, especially given the instruction time students lost during COVID. On Wednesday, Goodwin and two other Republican lawmakers announced plans to introduce a bill next season. It would limit teachers' unions from walking off the job on school days. Many states, including Washington, have similar laws, though they're not typically enforced. It is really an important topic for our state to, to consider and honor the children's education. And this is their time in school. This should not be a time for unions to play their games with education. <laughs> Wednesday marked the ninth day that 44,000 kids missed school because of the teacher strike. McDaniel Sr., L. Hansen, is out there with them most mornings. The goal is for me is to become an educator in the future. And so to support these teachers um, means that I am supporting a cause that I really believe in. Um, I'm supporting the education of my fellow uh, peers. L does point to some challenges, like applying for scholarships at home alone. So it's not easy, though um, our teachers have set us up for success without them necessarily being able to help us due to the strike. The teachers union and the district have made some progress on issues like planning time, but several sticking points remain. Teachers are still fighting for higher pay and smaller class sizes. They're also demanding better working conditions. Late Wednesday afternoon, the city of Portland announced plans to help address the latter. In a joint statement, Mayor Ted Wheeler and Commissioner Carmen Rubio said they would fast track $19.9 million to improve Portland public schools buildings and infrastructure. The money comes from the Portland Clean Energy Fund. In a statement, Mayor Wheeler said, quote, I appreciate the dedication PPS and PAT have shown remaining at the bargaining table, which demonstrates their commitment to reaching a resolution. These resources will bolster the package PPS, PAT agree to, improving school conditions to benefit both teachers and students. And tonight, school board member Julia Brim Edwards noted that that $20 million capital fund was included in the latest proposal settlement offer that the district made tonight. David. Catherine Cook in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Catherine.